tough day. Where am I? You're dead. This is a joke. Hilarious. <laughs> you have skills that we want. We'd like you to join the RIPD. The RIPD. Rest in peace department. Ah! I think you're smelling what I'm selling. Your job is catching dedos, the bad souls that escape judgment. <laughs> Meet your new partner. You gotta earn that. Come on. We are the greatest lawmen that ever lived and died. Now, some souls hide out among the living. Damn. I don't know what else to shoot you between. There's something else. You don't look like you, you don't sound like you anymore. So what do I look like? Really, an old Chinese guy? What about you? Well, I guess you win, Roy. You ready? Stanley and the Wiki. We're with the Department of Health. We suspect that you might be dead. You can back this one. My treat. No, I'm not, I'm not going near that. Don't pants up! Hey, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> might notice we're pretty durable. Still hurts. I've never seen that before. If the dead take over, that's it for the living world. They picked the wrong venue to make a stand. This world's for the living, and RIPD is gonna keep it that way. Holy! That went well. Assuming the world don't end. Fun, right? Don't tense up. I realize this is a complete ripoff of Men in Black, but I have to say, I really like it. It looks like a lot of fun to me. Uh, I don't know if other people or, or most audiences will be able to get past the, uh, you know, how much it's going to be in Men in Black's shadow, how much it's going to seem like a redo, but it just looks like a lot of fun. And there, that's for two reasons. Uh, first of all, it looks like they spent a a good amount of money on special effects. It, you know, it doesn't take you out of the world where you're like, oh, I wish you'd spend a little more money there, uh, or I can tell you're doing this on the cheap. And I think that's also a sign that it's worth going to see in theaters. You know, you're like, oh, I should see this on the big screen if they're making that kind of effort. So that's cool. Uh, so, and also, I think in addition to Men in Black, it has shades of Beetlejuice and also Hellboy, uh, which is cool. Those are all fun movies. Well, not maybe not Hellboy 2 as much, but I think that's a good track record. That's a good uh, vein to be in. But I think the real reason this looks like fun to me is the casting. Ryan Reynolds and Jeff Bridges seem to be in top form here, and it's great to see both of them going back to comedy. Uh, of course, Jeff Bridges has been busy with more serious acting, but, you know, the guy's got his Oscar. Now he can go back to kind of his Big Lebowski stuff, and I really like what he's doing here. And it, and it looks like he's not holding back. He's not ashamed to be in the movie. He's embracing it, which I think is awesome. As for Ryan Reynolds, I really liked Ryan Reynolds when he was on television in Two Guys, A Girl, in a Pizza Place, when I, you know, a long time ago. But I feel like he tried to be more of a heartthrob and an action star when he went to feature films uh, eventually. I mean, he started out in comedies, but I guess because it didn't go so well, he decided to try the other angle. But I don't think that's where his, that's not his sweet spot. Uh, you know, he was really, the proposal with Sandra Bullock, I think, I believe is his biggest movie to date. Uh, and there's a reason for that. He's really good at comedy. And I think that he's perfectly cast here. And it looks like he too is having fun. Uh, also, he's very good in Blade Trinity. Uh, a little scene film, and I know people are upset that Wesley Snipes wasn't the star, but I guess that was an action film like this where he was also able to have some great one-liners. And this looks like that's going to be the way too. So I think this looks really good. Uh, I, I'm a little nervous for it. I know that Ryan Reynolds box office track record when he's not opposite like another big, like Sandra Bullock did I think the heavy lifting for the proposal box office. So I don't know after so many flops if he can, you know, turn things around and be a draw, Ryan Reynolds. And I think Jeff Bridges is, uh, you know, he has his cult fans, but I don't know if a mainstream moviegoer wants to go. And as I said, the other thing is people might be like, I've seen this because I've seen Men in Black. Men in Black, I think to some degree overstated its welcome, even though Men in Black 3 did very well at the box office. But still, I think, 
people's perception of it isn't wonderful. We'll see. Maybe, you know, we'll see what happens when this hits theaters. But it looks good to me. I want to see it in theaters. How about you? Uh, and do you think that Ryan Reynolds can turn things around? And uh, are you happy to see him and Jeff Bridges back to doing comedy? Write your thoughts down below. And as always, thank you for coming to be on the trailer, not just for the latest trailers, but these quick snapshot reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye.